Number four. Purdue is lined up for the opening kickoff. So here we go. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go, Kirk. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's pushed out of bounds at the 30. A pickup of five. Here's a safe play hitting the underneath receiver, but it's a nice gain of five. He's out of bounds at the 34. Gaining four, four yards. Right, right. Third down. Check four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. And now he's got room to run. Makes it out to about the 43. Terrific execution by the entire offense to make that run work and to get the third down conversion. He's tackled right around the 48-yard line. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. That brings up second and one. Sit down, Jim! Right around Motion, motion, motion! Motion, motion! And he's tackled after positive yardage. So that's a seven-yard run there for the running back. They went misdirection there on the counter. Good job up front by the offensive line and by the running back to follow his block. Gets it off as he's hit, complete. And they make the stop at about the 35. Number 21 on the tackle at the 35-yard line. That'll make it second and four. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. They go to the left for a nice game. First down. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle at the 21 yard line. That makes it second and two. And he throws it away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. This is the 10th play of this drive. That's not what you hope for from your running game. You're looking for some solid north and south progress. You never want to give the defense a play like that to build their confidence. So the kicker comes out. He'll try to put three points on the board. Notre Dame could take the lead with this field goal. The kick is up. It's got the distance. And he got it. Boy, he had plenty of distance there and pushed it through. Very impressive leg strength. 3 nothing, Notre Dame. They line up to kick this one away. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Just throws this one away. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. He's on the run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 48-yard line. It's always a snap decision when you decide to tuck it and run. On that play, it was definitely the right move as he got the first down after a nice game. from their own 48-yard line. First down. Hey, 
He's going to try and scramble. Tackle made right around the 46 yard line. Scrambling around. Room around the corner. Brought down at the 39. From the 39-yard line. First down. They'll bring him down at the 27. The strike complete, and he's tackled at the 20-yard line. That's a game of seven on the play. That'll bring up second. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Four-yard line. The offense knows that the linebackers are cheating up a little bit on the run. If they can get some protection, they might want to open up a little bit of space for some passes underneath. Here's the eighth play of the series. Three down, three down. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. That was a perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. From their own 29-yard line, it's first down. Notre Dame is up by three. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. That's good for a gain of 11 yards. First down. Here's the halfback, and he's brought down hard behind the line. From their own 39-yard line, second down. He's taken down at the 38. to his receiver, first down. Not a real fancy play here, just a smartly run route. Good protection and a well-placed ball. Most times, you don't need much more than that. And he's taken down around the 35-yard line. That's a D. That brings up second and one. And once again, they'll come to the line, try to convert on third down. Notre Dame is up a field goal. It's caught, first down, and he's out of bounds. That makes it first and 10. On the run, he fights forward to about the 23. After one quarter of play, and we've got a low-scoring defensive battle on our hands. Notre Dame's got a three-point lead. Back to the action here in the second quarter. It's been a good one and a tight one at this point. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. Oh, 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 
and six. Check And they get nice yardage on that run. Call it a game of seven yards. First down. I got two. I got two. Watch the run. Watch the run. Watch the run. Stay out there. Watch it. Check, 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 check. Gets to about the 11-yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Now he tries to buy some time. That's a great tackle at the 15-yard line. You can't take sacks like that as a quarterback. You just can't. If you can't find a receiver, get out of the pocket and throw the ball away. Another third down upcoming, and they've converted all three this drive. Three down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Kill, kill. Raider, Raider. Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 13 play, 71 yard drive. And they come away with seven points. An amazing drive of this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. If they can play sound football from here out and make a few plays, there's no reason they can't get back into it. Lost the ball. He's tackled right around the 34. He really wanted that ball, didn't he, Kirkman? You can't teach hustle like that. The linebacker was determined to get the ball there, and he did. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Caught open field, knocked out of bounds at the 18. Game of 11 on the play. First down. Four down, four down. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Easy, easy, easy. He tackles him for a loss. The defense got a great push and blew that play up well behind the line of scrimmage. It's second down now, 14 to go. Ball on the 23. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at about the 17-yard line. The quarterback trying to make a play. Well, he did a nice job of getting some yards there on the scramble, but he needs to learn to slide to avoid those big hits. The defense has got some of their best pass defenders on the field. They set up in the dime to counter that five wide receiver set. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. That's a team number 15. Let's go, let's get this ball back. That makes it first and goal. Check Mike 39, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. And he's level at the eight yard line. That is a loss of six on the play. That brings him second and goal. It's second and goal. Eight yards out. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Down, down. Touchdown, Irish. What a spectacular run by the quarterback. That is such a weapon for your offense. When you have a quarterback who can do things like that, the coach probably loves drawing up plays for this guy. And he adds the extra point. Everyone. 
one's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He really got a hold of that kick. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. No matter how much people want to talk about points and offense, I still think that the best offense is a great defense. When you put a zero up there, it makes it pretty easy on your own offense to go out there and win the game. The last time the offense had it, they lost a fumble. So I'm pretty sure the coaching staff was over there talking about ball security. You don't change your philosophy after one play. They'll be out doing the same thing as before, just with better awareness. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. From their own 41-yard line, first down. He's at midfield. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. Makes it to the 45 yard line. That's a gain of two on the play. That brings up 79. Second and nine. Ball on the 45. Tackles him hard at the 43. That's a loss of That'll bring up third and long. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. You can't block me. Check 59. Mike. Mike is 59. Mike is Black 85. Black 85. He's hit and taken down. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. They're trying to pin them deep with a solid punt right here. He gets it away, and this is a really nice punt. This punt goes over the goal line, and this will be a touchback. Notre Dame's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Irby, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. From their own 20-yard line, it's second down. And he is drilled at the 13-yard line. But the defense is fired up, responding and reacting to that sack. Not only do they get the quarterback, but they hit him and hit him hard. I think that can really create some confidence for this defense. The next time this quarterback drops back to throw, you got to be thinking he's going to be a little bit gun-shy and concerned about the pressure that these defense is putting on him. And this one is a beauty. He's to the 40. He makes it to the 42-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Now he's scrambling. He's wrapped up for the sack. That's a loss of seven yards. That'll make it second and long. Completes it, but he can't shake the defense. Purdue will take their last time out. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48s. Right, right, 
Let's see if a quarterback heaves it up there and one of his guys can come down with it. Aaron and out long. And he's got the junior. Huge gain, and that sets him up nicely with a first and goal. Well, we've played a half of football. Notre Dame's lead is 17. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports Halftime Show. Reese Davis and David Pollock here. David, I think both coaching staffs probably go to the locker room right now a little bit disappointed with the way their team kind of gone flat in the first half. What do coaches need to do and have time to try to pick up the energy of their team? Well, it's always a process where you say there were plays to be made that we didn't. And those guys have to come in there now and explain, you're seeing what the defense or offense is giving you. Let's go out and attack, be more aggressive, make sure that we make those plays that are out there. Because there are plays to be made. We just got to do it as a player. Opportunity to win a big game. You've got to have that tingle going up your spine. Get ready to bring the heat in the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Nice kick, plenty of distance. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Notre Dame's coaching staff will go out tonight, and I think the offensive coordinator should buy the defensive coordinator his meal. Well, the defense has been great. There's no doubt about it. But I just think that the offense that they're facing, which has been so conservative, so predictable, it's made it very easy for this defense to have a dominant game. at about the 45. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 45. He scrambled. The ball is loose, and they fall on the loose ball. That's a big break for this defense. You know, this offense just can't afford to be getting hit with the turnover buck. They need to hold on to the football. We're about set to start things up again. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. Makes it out to about the 29. Call it a gain of nine yards. That makes it first and 10. He lets it fly, and he hits him hard at the eight. That makes it first and goal. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. That's a game of five on the play. That brings him second and goal. Brought down around the seven yard line. That makes it third and goal. The ball's on the six yard line, and we've got third and goal. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Looking for six, and he got it. Touchdown. Catch by the receiver for the touchdown. Anytime you're near the red zone, you got to keep an eye for this guy. They love going to him down here. When you're in the huddle and the post route is called, the quarterback and the wide receiver get excited because they know that there's a chance for a big play. Here, the offense does a good job of protecting the quarterback, allowing the quarterback enough time to make that big throw. And, of course, the receiver has the speed and the, and the hands to make the play for the touchdown. 
After review of the play, the ruling on the field stands. Well, I think the play warranted a review, but the call on the field stands. And he hits the PAT. So that's a six play, 41 yard drive. And they get it in for seven. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. So our score, 24 nothing. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. He's on the run. Now he's going to run and watch out. Hey, sometimes the defense does everything right and they still lose. That time they had tight coverage which left no options other than for the quarterback to take off. First and 10. Ball on the 35-yard line. Fires that quickly, incomplete. That makes it second and 10. Scrambling around. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. yards away here on third down. On the ground, up the middle. Well, that's a big time stop by the defense. You know, Brad, one of the things that all defensive coordinators always try to emphasize is their ability to stop offenses on third down. That is a big stop, and I think it could have a lot to do with the outcome of this football game. He really got a hold of that one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And the one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Sit up. Yellow 80. Easy, easy, easy. Motion, motion, motion. motion. Yellow 90. Up the middle. Tackled outside after a nice pickup. Call the game of six yards. That brings us third and 12. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Got a man, but he's tackled back behind the line of scrimmage. He puts it away, and it's a great kick. And down he goes at the 48. Their last drive broke down and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? If they're gonna make a comeback in this game, it's gonna have to start now. This offense has to get rolling. There's a strike complete. And he shoved out of bounds at the 48 yard line. From the 48 yard line, second down. Get to that quickly, and he's tackled right away. So they gain six yards on the play and pick up the first down. Short throws like this are very effective because they tend to wear down the defense over the course of a game, especially when they get you a first down and keep the offense on the field. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Second and ten. Ball on the 42. Come on, boy. You better be ready. 
Over the middle, got his tight end. That's a great tackle at the 32-yard line. He's going to try and scramble. He's taken down at the 23-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Now he tries to buy some time. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. The red zone has not been kind to this offense. Are they going to end this drought? Fires it out. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's scrambling. He's tackled around the three-yard line. So at the end of three, Notre Dame leads it 24-0. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Pick it up, guys. Pick it up. Hey, alert 48. Hey, we're going to Mike the 48 right now. Let's go. Hey! hey. Caught end zone for the touchdown. The tight end does a nice job coming down with that touchdown catch. He certainly did, Brad. This guy's a big time threat inside the 10 yard line because of his size. He can outmuscle defensive backs for the ball. So the offense is going to go for two. He's in for the conversion. So with under five minutes to go here in the fourth, the score, Notre Dame, 24, Purdue, 8. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. And they can forget about returning this one. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Makes it out to about the 33. That makes it second and two. He fights forward to about the 36. That's a game of three on the play. First down. Three down, three down. Hey, check my kill. Yeah, the way he's in. Here we go, here we go. Motion, motion. Now he's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 49. That makes it first and 10. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll bring up second and three. Makes it out to about the 30. The offensive coordinator has to be elated with the way his offense right now is executed. They're not in a hurry, but they're very, very methodical and very consistent with their approach. That's the third first down that they've picked up on this drive. Gets it out to his receiver in a hurry. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First and 10. Ball on the 20-yard line. And he's taken down around the nine-yard line. Unbelievable. They can't get this offense off the field. Oh, they've been like a machine on this drive. Very methodical and efficient. And once again, they're moving the chains. Tackle made at about the three-yard line. Number 26 makes the tackle at the three-yard line. That brings him second and goal. And 
he throws it away. So here we go. It's third and goal from the three-yard line. Coming to you. Coming to you. Hey, check Mike 39. Check Mike 39. Check. Yeah. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Two, seven. Motion, motion, motion. Hey, not yet. Rose intercept. No, he dropped it. Oh, my gosh. How did he drop that? The offense has a new life and a new outlook on this game after that dropped interception. Kicks up, and it sails through the uprights. Notre Dame is ready to kick it away. He really got a hold of that kick. Quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Pass is caught, the defense lays him out. I think he could have taken a risk down the field, but he played it safe instead, and that's one of the keys to winning ball games. Second and six, ball in the 29. He scrambled. He's to the 40. And that was a nice pickup by the quarterback. Brad, I think this guy is amazing. He has an uncanny ability to scramble, and it showed right there on that play. Less than three minutes in the game. He's on the run, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. It's second and 12. Ball on the 43-yard line. Check 59. Mike, Mike is 59. Mike is 59. Let's go. Blue 88. Blue 88. Tackled oh, after a decent pickup. hit out of bounds at the 46 yard line it's fourth down and the offense is getting set to go for it and they sack him on fourth down I'm not sure the offense had much of a choice here it was a pretty short conversion the defense just made a good play. You really can't say enough about this defense. Fourth and short, and they really showed up on that play. Well, the last drive was good for three, but I'm sure in this one they'll be looking to double that. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. Red 68! Nice run up the middle. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Nice run there. The defense has got to do a better job of being more aggressive. You know, this offense doesn't seem to be in much of a hurry. They're working the clock. You know the chances are they're going to run the football. That allows the defense to pin their ears back and get aggressive. And it really comes down to the defensive linemen holding up against the offensive line and the linebackers and safeties crashing downhill and making plays against the run game.
that's the end of the ball game and our final score in this one, Notre Dame 27, Purdue 8. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Street, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.